So welcome back to Let's Play Dungeons and Dragons Online Permadeath. I'm just taking uh, level 9 in this video. Having made level 9 doing uh, part 2 of Dolores just now. And let's see what I'm taking at level 9. So I'll keep my main skills up here. Concentration, Spellcraft, and... Three points in heal too, right? Yes, heal. And let's keep putting points in balance since that's a pretty big deal on a soloer. We're putting points in spot and move silently. Spot because being able to see enemies coming at you is a pretty big deal when you're soloing, especially permadeath. And move silently because it may uh, enable me to do some stuff stealthily later on. Uh, well, there's not much else that I need here really. Jump's always nice to have more of. So yeah, let's just put some more in jump, I guess. Then we have feats, alright. I think it's time to start taking the uh, spell penetration feats. Or, or heighten, I guess, actually. Sure, let's go heighten. Uh, boosting my spell DCs is a big deal, and I will take enhancements to reduce the cost of that. So I can have that enabled on my main crowd control spells. Okay, and level 5 spells, of course. And I'm not sure what to take here, actually. Interesting. I always like protection from elements. It's just a... For the amount of damage it saves you, it's, it's quite cheap. Um, not really sure what else. A nice... High single target damage spell is great for champions, I guess. So Elidars looks attractive, or I could just take a uh, a big damaging spell. I guess damaging spells. I've got plenty of um, area damage from Firewall at the moment, so let's go with uh, Elidars, I guess. Elidars on Nyax. We're doing a lot of electric on this character, so I'll go with Elidars. So here we are, level 9. So boost in Fort and Reflex saves. Heighten uh, to enable me to boost my spell DCs for crowd control. Boosting various skills, primarily concentration, balance, and spellcraft, and heal for my undead form healing. And. Taking Elidar's protection from elements as my level 5 spells. Let's look at enhancements as well while we're here. It's time to put another point in intelligence because that's always nice to have. That gets me to int 30. Great. And I guess I can keep boosting my skeleton as well. Sure, sounds good to me. So on this character I mostly have points in the Pal Master line. Not that I'm making much use of the undead forms yet, but I will later on. And lots of points in my skeleton, who's doing a lot of the fighting for me. The main one I want to get to next will probably be... The spell pen in uh, Huntsman in Archmage and the improved heightening to reduce the cost of my heighten. So I'll probably start putting a lot of points in Archmage from now on. Let's take a look at equipment, just quickly review my gear on this character. So I have a plus 4 int item for goggles. Plus Concentration, that's uh, pretty weak. I guess plus one to all spell DCs is a pretty nice item. Got plus four Constitution, which is always nice. My heirloom item was the Greater Stalwart Trinket from Crystal Cove, with 10% um, Exceptional Thought. Uh, but also the Stone Skin Guard, which you will have noticed go off a lot during the Delera's uh, Part 2 just now. Plus the Resistance item. Still wearing the rugged belt for just plus five hit points. Uh, 
I'm usually wearing a different ring in that slot uh, once I get into a quest, so a plus three protection ring. Plus three dexterity for a bit more uh, reflex save and AC. Speed four to help me get away from problem enemies. Uh, plus rebalance, plus glaciation to boost my Nyax. Death block and dodge bonus and plus 56 is my highest fortification item for the moment. Alright, so that was level 9. I'll uh, see you in the next uh, video for Delaris Part 3.